Welcome to the Envelopes Emmy Contender Series. I'm Yvonne Villarreal, and today we're talking to Nisi Nash, who plays Desna Sims on the TV series Claws. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm really upset with myself because I knew you were coming in. Let me see your nails. I, know. I already know where this is going. <laughs> I didn't have time, <laughs> and I'm a, usually a nail polished person. Mm. Can we see your nails? Because they're exquisite. Well, I just went with a taupe mat today. Something nice and easy. Do you get like a lot of people always asking to see your nails now? Oh, always. And they're usually jacked to the nines. <laughs> I mean, all the way done up with the bells and whistles and, you know, beads and bows. Shout out to Mad Nails, who does, and that's her IG name, Morgan, who does our nails for the show. Were you into nails as much before doing the show? Absolutely. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Big fan. You know, I started getting my nails done when I was like 13. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 14 maybe. And, yeah, so I was always a fan. Even with the bells and whistles? Not as much. I used to have a little of that. You because know, then I always worry it'll charms. clash with a with an outfit or something. Oh no, that's you just, what keeps you, you just. No, you just go for it. You figure it out. Okay. You get it and then figure it out later. Okay. How has the nail community responded to the show? Do you get people talking about it? Oh, you know, we have a lot of a lot of fans in the nail community, mm -hmm. and um, I love that. Like even in our social media of it all, we highlight some of our fans um, often. Like if they send nail pictures mm -hmm. and. You know, we do claws up every week and, you know, highlight yeah. the people who follow us in the nail community. And you had to learn the skill of doing nails, right? We had to go to nail school. What was that like? You know, listen, let me just say this. If the nail industry as we know it ended today, the world would be all right with the ladies of claws. We got you. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's your expertise? My expertise is acrylics okay. and eyebrow threading. Okay. Uh, get all the way into that. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I would say Carrie Preston does a great gel manicure. Okay. Um, Judy Reyes can massage you for filth. Um, yeah, we, we, we got skills. We got skills. I like this. This is very good. Oh, yeah. Well, talk to me about, I think with every show uh, actors take on, they're hoping to... Uh, grow as an actor or mature or yeah. find be challenged in new ways how has this been a new challenge for you this show well can we talk about the costumes first yes please um because <laughs> if they got any tighter good <laughs> lord uh, is there a lot of spanx on set <laughs> baby <laughs> Spanks on Spanks on Spanks is the story of my life these days. I feel like going to the restroom is a big, big chore. Oh, a, are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay, this is for every woman on the set of cloths. It's an ordeal because now we don't have, we used to have acrylics, all of us, and then they transitioned us into custom press-ons because oh. we have so many changes, changes in the day. So you got custom press-ons, you have all the regalia under the costume. Are they ending up in weird spots now, the nails? Are, Are they coming off? <laughs> you just find them everywhere at the end of the day. So they have multiples because it's like, I got a nail down, and then when you go in your trailer to get dressed, undressed for the night, it's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that happening. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the, the outfits are one bit of it. And, you know, I just, I'd never played a character that was this sexy. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I've been in the business over 20 years. And I was like, well, what happened when I was in my 20s? Where were you all then? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, no, ma'am, we'll yeah. take it now. <laughs> but what is that? I mean, let's also talk about the imagery of the show. I mean, we have... I mean, you've said this before, so I hope I'm not, like, speaking out of turn here, but you've said, you know, this is a show with women of a certain age. Okay, when I said certain age, I was pulling the air quotes from heaven. <laughs> okay. Of a, of certain, a certain age. age. Pull them way down. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, we have a, a black woman, a, a lesbian Latina, an Asian woman, an ex-con white woman. Like, talk about the imagery that this show puts out there. Baby, we are an equal opportunity employer, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I love the fact that we have a diverse cast, but I also love the fact that it doesn't feel forced, mm -hmm. you know, because of the way the relationships are all woven together. We, we feel like a family mm -hmm. and we've become that on camera and off, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I love the fact that 
you know, and not only do we lean in in a in a place of um, of diversity, but whatever your sexual appetite is, ride with it. Mm -hmm. We don't even question it on the show. You know what I mean? So there's that. There's a freedom and a liberty in this world of Palmetto, mm -hmm. which we lovingly call Palm Ghetto. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to just live your truth, whatever whatever that is. Because what is more important than who you sleep with, how you look, and what your background is, is can you get this money? We got things to do. We got to climb up. We, we got to make a run for the Dixie Mafia, so we got things to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So those other things are ancillary in the big picture of this world. Mm -hmm. Well, how about, I mean, because like you said, I mean, your character Desna is a nail salon owner who is leading this sort of temporary life of crime, temporary, um, laundering money through her business. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the premise like at, when you first heard about it? Because it's basically like we're seeing women go up against men in bold ways. Um, I thought this is absolutely delicious. Um, I love the fact that um, most of the women on this cast were on the south side of 40. I love the fact that they were doing things that typically was reserved for men. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the, the life of crime, the laundering money, the, the legal drugs, murder, mm -hmm. all of those sorts of things, you know, usually is reserved for a male character. So I love the fact that I had this ragtag band of manicurists mm -hmm. and I'm like, we're going to get this done. And they're all badass in their own way. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I absolutely leaned so far in. Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, back up a few steps, lady. Mm -hmm. We get it. You love it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I leaned all the way into it. Well, talk to us about who Desna is. I mean, she's very much the motherly figure of this bunch. Oh, yeah. And she's got a lot on her shoulders. Yeah. Uh, well, she is a caregiver. Mm -hmm. And um, she cares for these women and their well-being. Um, and she also takes care of her brother, um, played by the lovely and wonderful Harold Perrineau. Mm -hmm. um, so she, she has a lot to do because she's actually taken on, mm -hmm. you know, other people's problems mm -hmm. and made them her own. Mm -hmm. And so in trying to fight for the whole, a better life for herself, she also wanted, wants that for the girls in the salon as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Well, let's talk about that relationship that Desna has with Dean and, and working alongside Harold in this part. Like, talk mm. about that dynamic. Can I tell you this? Harold and I, when we see each other on set coming towards each other, we always get teary-eyed because we know that the scenes are going to be so emotionally charged and, it's in it, and we have to pull from a place that's going to cost us something. So we try to stay very measured between takes. When he and I have scenes together, not too many antics, we keep it very easy because that emotional roller coaster that he and I are on is something else. And this season, our relationship is tested in a way that I don't know if the audience is going to see coming. Yeah, get your Kleenex ready. <laughs> get the Kleenex ready for that one. Um, can we talk about the sex scenes? If you like. <coughs> Gulps hard. <coughs> um. <laughs> go ahead, go for it. What do you want to know? Just everything. I'm I giving mean, you details. I'll tell it all. Tell Ask me. me a question, I'll tell you the honest truth. I mean, what do you want to know? I mean, she had like a full on conversation during one, just very casually, like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I had some stuff to talk about and I had something I needed to do at the time I needed to talk about it. So let's kill two birds with one stone. Huh? <laughs> Who's never been there before? No. You just like need to get something <laughs> off your chest during it. Basically. Yeah. Um, but what, what, <laughs> I would imagine these are unlike sex scenes you've done before. I never did sex scenes before. Never. So what was that like for you doing this for she the She was a TV virgin. <laughs> um, well, it is not easy. Let me just tell you that. Um, and it, on television, it may look very passionate and very steamy and all of these other things, but there is so much that goes into it. You have so many people in the room, you know, number one. Number two, what I usually try to do though is take the actor behind the closed door, 
fully clothed, thank you very much, <laughs> and say, let's work out the choreography. Okay. I'm going to put my arm here, you put your leg there, then I would like to do this. Then we bring in the directors and say, mm -hmm. are you okay with this choreography? Mm -hmm. So that it can be shot properly. Okay. And that's usually how it goes down, but it's not something that I'm like... <laughs> I have a sex scene today, yay! No, it's not that at all. How does your husband deal with this? Well, my husband doesn't like it, but he <laughs> loves me. And so, you know, but to be honest with you, it's a work in progress because you never know where your partner lives in it. Mm -hmm. You never know if they say, I would love to support you in this, but I don't want to watch mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Or if they say, I want to see everything, you know, and I try to let my husband see my scenes before the world saw them, mm. just so that if he came to a screening or something, he wasn't watching with everybody. Mm -hmm. He could have his own yeah. viewing and then be like, okay, I know what it is, but he won't revisit it. <laughs> After he's watched it, he's not going to rewatch it. That's for sure. <laughs> no, none of that. You know, and, and, I, and, and I, I try to make it look as real as possible, but I'm so in love with my husband. Like these boys on the show, I mean, they're like, great. Whatever. They're great, but they ain't my man. That's a whole nother something. Oh, now you got me wanting to see my husband. Husband! Well, because Desna has a love in her life right now. Yeah, well, you know what? One thing I will say about this on a very, very serious note, I love, this is what I love, one of the things I love the most about playing her, even though the intimate scenes are hard, is that she is a black woman in her 40s, mm -hmm. not a size two, and she is in intimate relationships for her own pleasure. Mm -hmm. And that right there, we don't typically see in mainstream television. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so I've been the object of a man's desire before with the look and the this mm -hmm. and whatever that is. But for her own pleasure, she chose this young boy to mm -hmm. it. For, cause, cause that's what she needed. Cause that's what she needed. Cause yeah. that's what she needed. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And she was unapologetic about that. And I think that she's a single woman out there living her best life or trying to anyway. And so I love that she's not skinny. I love that she's intentional. Mm -hmm. with her pleasure and um, that she's unapologetic in, in getting the things that she needs, you know, to feel like a woman. Is there, um, n not in relation to the sex scenes, but everything else, do you have a, like a stunt person at all or? To do my sex scenes? <laughs> no, not your sex I scenes. wish, where is she? <laughs> Come on right now, lady. <laughs> no, the other stuff, like, I don't know, do you? Or? Oh, my stunts. Yeah. Oh, I have an amazing uh, uh, woman who does my stunts. Her name is Jeanette Branch. Okay. Um, uh, and I, listen, me and JJ go a long way back. And then when I tell you she makes me look so good, <laughs> she's been there for me for almost every job I've been on. She fought the Red Devil for me in Scream Queens. <laughs> um, she made me look very amazing in a bar fight on Soul Man. Um, she, anytime I have to do anything on Claws, I'm like, where's JJ? <laughs> so she is that stunt chick that, that has become my friend. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely love her. Yeah, no stunts here. Well, because when you were talking earlier about the clothes, we can't not mention the shoes, which are also insane. You talking about the running around and all that yes. stuff? Uh, JJ, that stunt <laughs> chick, that's who's making all that happen for me. <laughs> yeah, because as soon as I read anything, set something on fire, where's JJ? <laughs> Runs across the parking lot, where's JJ? You know. Smart. Yeah. Smart. How has it been shooting in Louisiana, which is supposed to stand in for Florida? Can I just tell you what? Now, this is between me and you and just a, two or three folks on Facebook. Yeah. From, from, from here, from the underbus down to my ankles, my body okay. looked like a crime scene. Let me tell you what, them mosquitoes love me. Do you hear me? Just take a yellow tape and wrap it all around me because I look like something done happened in all down here that's just wrong. I mean, my meat is sweet, I guess. So that's the part about it that I don't like. That is the best tagline, my meat is sweet. Ew. <laughs> don't hate my truth. Hey. That's, that's intense. These are facts. <laughs> what was one of like your favorite scenes or moments from season one? From season one, wow, I really enjoyed um, the scene between Harold and I 
in the first episode when when it started to rain in the house and I just couldn't get five minutes to sit on the toilet. Like, just can I? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot that happened in the day. Can I just have a second in this bathroom to mm -hmm. myself? I love the big group fight all the girls had. That was also in the pilot. Mm -hmm. um, that was a lot of fun. I, I like the times when we're all together, the girls. Mm -hmm. We had a big dance number yeah. to Lady Marmalade. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I really like the people that I work with. So there's Which really not so a hard crucial, day. right? Well, it's not necessary, but it is definitely a plus. Yes. You know, I could get along with the devil. <laughs> All right, li listen. Give me tips. Hmm. <laughs> listen, <laughs> drink your water and worry about yourself. That's how you do that. Uh -huh. um, but but I, I can, you know, I can get along with anyone. But I love the fact that I genuinely enjoy mm -hmm. the people that I work with. So that, that makes it a pleasure. Are you guys always hanging around together offset or? Why? <laughs> we there so much. <laughs> we don't get to do nothing but go home and go to sleep. <laughs> we hang and do what? <laughs> it's not that much. It's not see. that much time. Put ointment on your mosquito bites yes, together. <laughs> I go, no, I just, that's just me. I go home, I put my ointment on it, then I come back to work. So uh -huh. we don't have a lot of time, mm -hmm. um, but um, like, you know, a couple of the girls, we were able to go to like the big jazz festival mm -hmm. together. But, you know, it's just, it's not a lot of time. And yeah. especially if you have a family, you know, you, some people go back home on the weekends. So we don't have a lot of time to hang out beyond work, but mm -hmm. 16 hours a day is enough. Is enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see a lot of similarities between Desna and Dee Dee in terms of, all that they carry on themselves. You're saying Dee Dee as in my character and getting, getting on. on. Um, I think that they care the same. Mm -hmm. I think that there is a something in them that genuinely cares for other people, mm -hmm. you know, and that is 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 a common denominator between mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you there was talk about making a Broadway version of Getting On. Who told you that? Girl, who told you so that? What's this? Is that going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> you heard it here first. Um, I don't know. Um, well, we talked about trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. There's been a couple of talks. Mm -hmm. Can we find a, a place to go stream another season? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Talk number one. Mm -hmm. Talk number two was perhaps we should take it to Broadway. Mm -hmm. Myself, Lori Metcalf, and Alex Borstein. That would be amazing. You said that, like, can you do it tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> because I'm sure you still get people, like, talking about this show to you all the time. All of the time. Yeah. Those are the top two shows that I think people talk to me about the most outside of the project that I'm doing right now uh -huh. would be uh, Getting On and Reno 911. Wow. Both need to come back and do something, mm -hmm. you know? Well, I would also want, I mean, we saw TLC bring back Trading Spaces. Would Are you, you ever, about to bring up Clean House? Clean House, my Girl. first introduction to you. Would you ever do that? Who wants a Clean House? <laughs> um, would I ever? You know what, the one thing I know about myself is that I never say never. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've, I've talked to the gang mm -hmm. from Clean House. Wow. You know, and we, at one point, were trying to see if we could get something figured out. Um, but I never say never, uh -huh. you know, I love, I mean, I'm still in good relation with all of the casts that I've been on. So, you know, I never say never. Were houses really that bad? Listen, I've seen some things, <laughs> you know, where it I- It just blows my mind. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember one of my first clients, I just didn't want to embarrass him. I said, cut the camera off. And I put everybody out and I brought him. I said, look, what I, look what's up in the top of this closet. I said, do your wife know you got that? <laughs> And do you want me to pull it out on TV? He said, oh my God, thank you, Miss Nancy. That part. You wow. know what I mean? I want you to live well, but I'm not trying to, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. throw you under a bus, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I've seen it all. My God. Oh yeah. Yeah, I always want, wanted them to come to like my apartment or something. So if there is a revival, just I'm let me know. I'm gonna call you first. Just let me know. Yeah. Um, what can you tell us about season two? I know Shirley Ralph is going to be in season two. Well, you know what's funny about that is that Shirley Ralph and I met because she came up to me at a studio once, we we're in the same building, and she, somebody behind me said, darling. And I spun around and it was her. She said, can you clean my house? Stop it. And I said, 
Indeed I can. So I take my show, I go to her house, we sell her Dream Girls memorabilia, we sell all of these clothes, she had wow. enough wigs for a small village. We sell all of her things, she and I become fast friends. Wow. Cut to, I was the matron of honor in her wedding. Cut to, no, I was a maid of honor her wedding. She was the matron of honor in my wedding. And then when we got to this point in the show, Claws, I went to the powers that be and I suggested to our creator, Elliot Lawrence, I said, what if there was this larger than life woman mm -hmm. And I'll tell you just dot, dot, dot. So you got to tune in <laughs> to see what my dot, dot, dot was. He leaned all the way into it, wow. loved it. And now she's a part of our season two. Wow. And I mean, Desna and her friends want to get out of this crime of life, but they get sucked back in. What can you tell us? Well, I can tell you that season one, Desna very much wanted to get out. Mm -hmm. And I think season two, she's just leaning in. It's like, if this is my lot in life, mm -hmm. let me stop trying to act like I'm really not as good at this as I know that I am. Mm -hmm. And if I'm gonna be in it, I'm gonna be mixed all the way up to the top. Mm. So that's the plan, season two. What are the nails gonna be like in season two? Baby! <laughs> what are they gonna be like? Everything. And I think in the, the first episode, I have burgundy nails, but one of them has a mink, puff a burgundy mink puff that dangles from the nails like yeah we went all I'm out i just wonder how people go to the restroom with this stuff well listen we take ours off i don't know what they do in the real world <laughs> yeah i'm like i don't know how you do anything i don't know either <laughs> one other thing i mean this is isn't directed to your character but i just want to get your thoughts on the role that jane adams plays like it's insane in, um, in, uh, no, you mean season one? Season one, yes. Listen, <laughs> we had a lot, <laughs> we had a lot going on. I've never seen her like that before. And the other thing about it is when you see season two, you will see some things that will not disappoint. Okay. It's gonna, you'll have the same reaction. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Okay, we're gonna end things with a lightning round. Oh, oh, wait, we have a, a question on Twitter. What, oh, yay. What would you say has been your favorite project you've played to date? My favorite project I've played to date, it's very hard to answer because I love different characters for different reasons. I love playing Lolly Ballantyne mm. against Cedric the Entertainer because I love showing black love on TV. Mm. I love that they were a couple that genuinely loved each other. You know, a lot of times you get the, yeah. the, the sassy wife who's just saying mean things at the husband. I love the fact that they really loved each other. People thought Cedric and I were really together in real life. And I'm like, <laughs> no, he got his own wife and I got my own husband. I love playing Nurse Dee Dee for her compassion. Yes. I mean, it was the first time I was ever able to play a character with no makeup mm -hmm. and still find the beauty in her because in this industry yeah. you get on set and you go straight to hair and makeup mm -hmm. and they make you look like you got angels dancing yeah. on your face yeah. but they strip down the sass they strip down the makeup they wouldn't even let me wear a spank <laughs> um and so i loved her and then the fierceness of Dee, Dee like i love something about all my girls Rainisha williams let me tell you what before it was popular and everybody wanted a big booty you know why i made that character with that booty because she looked like all of the women that raised me and i didn't get the butt that my runs in my family i'm getting it now though <laughs> but back then i didn't have it mm -hmm. and i wanted that woman to see herself on tv so I created her. So I love them. So I'm sorry, Punk, and I, didn't, I don't have just one. We have another one. Like, what are your guiding principles in your career? The three words that I've lived by in my career are no matter what. So if I want to achieve something, I press toward the mark of that thing, no matter, no matter what, you know? And and the other thing that I live by in my profession is that I've never gotten a job and not gotten somebody else a job. Hmm. Um, I feel like the job is what I'm going to do, but my who 
is to show up and be of service. Mm -hmm. So how can I serve in this, in, in this, in this, on this set and in this assignment? Because the assignment is the assignment, the job is the job. Mm -hmm. So I get the job and then I look for my assignment. Mm -hmm. And that means I can get somebody a job on camera, behind camera, or you know, an assistant or an extra or something. I just never want to hoard a blessing mm -hmm. just for me. So, you know, I used to say it on Clean House all the time. When your hand is open yeah. to give, it's open to receive. Mm -hmm. So I always give when I'm in, in a blessing. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's, I, I really love those words to live by. Um, here's our lightning round. Lightning round. Here it is. What is it? Do I just have to answer really fast? Yeah. Okay, here we go. And if you want to give I'm a little, nervous. if you want to give a little explanation to the to the answer, that's fine too. Last okay. show you binge watched? Last show that I binge watched was Handmaid's Tale. Elizabeth Moss, I love you. Go. If you could go back and be on any TV show ever, what would it be? Go back on any TV show ever that I've already done or in the world? No, any like that that you haven't been on any TV show ever. I would have been on the wire. Oh, I would have been on the wire. A lot of people watch TV to unwind. What do you do to unwind? Stuff with my husband. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Full on conversations. What do you know now that you wish you knew on your first acting job? That if you love it, people will follow. And by it, I mean all of it. This is my original teeth, people. No Hollywood <laughs> teeth here, huh? <laughs> You know what I mean? I just leaned in, thicker than a the snicker. These are my teeth. This is what it, you know, it's meaty, it's cheesy, it's greasy. And I leaned into me and then they follow. But when I was like, oh my God, I, I don't know. Should mm -hmm. I get the Hollywood teeth like everybody mm -hmm. else? Should I, what should I do? And then I'm just, the more comfortable I became and just who I am and what I like, I wear what I like, I do what I like, I, you know, present it how I like. And then people just leaned in and was like, okay, well then we like it too. And I'm like, great, now we all on the same page. I love that this was like a chat that also served as like a life coach session because I think a lot of people could take what you said and like go on with life. And the one thing that I will tell you, and I wanna make sure I leave you with is this, and that is that I, I hope that people know that whatever they feel like they are called to do, whatever it is in life, if you believe it, that is enough. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's not called them esteem, us esteem, mama esteem, it's self esteem because nobody has to believe that thing but you. Mm -hmm. And when you walk out the thing God told you to do. Somebody said to me, are you surprised that you're getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Uh -huh. I said, no. I'm blessed and I'm grateful, but I'm not surprised. Because when I was nine years old, I ran into Ed Asner on, the Holly, on, on Hollywood Boulevard. Look, I was looking at stars with my dad. And I'm like, sir, I know you're on TV. And, and, and I'm going to be on TV one day, too. And I'm gonna, my name is going to be right there on the ground. And my name is Nisi. And he was like, yeah, kid, OK, scram. <laughs> and he walked off. And I was like, remember my name. And this summer, I get a letter from Ed Asner. Stop. Hand to God. I get a letter from Ed Asner saying that, you know, I'm so glad you didn't let a crotchety old man destroy your dreams. And of course, I know your name. And he wrote a little star. And I'm just bawling my oh eyes my out. God. Not because I didn't think it was going to happen, but because it manifests itself in a way. Now, listen, that vision, Terry. <laughs> I was nine, honey. Some, I got some miles on me now, girl. It took a while. Uh -huh. But even though the vision tarried, it came to pass. And that's the thing. When you hold on to that thing, no matter what, remember I said that first, and you walk that thing out, you got to stay on the path. Because mm -hmm. everything is going to come against you to get you off the path. Because that's the way the world is. Mm -hmm. you know. But you have to stick to it no matter what. I love that. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for joining us again. Thank you. Great. Next time you're going to have your yeah, I'll have my claws order. up. <laughs> um, for all you tuning in, thanks so much. If you want to check out more of our chats, head over to LATimes.com.